So I'm gonna go ahead and say that my Monday, like official mom hack is to do a crock pot meal every Monday because I just feel like Mondays is like really in their feels. Like can go one of two ways. Kids can all be on the same page or they won't, you know, everything is can go haywire. But I put this on at 7 a.m. and look at that. It is so good, so juicy. I'm like obsessed. So anyway, my point is, is that that's my official like Monday hack. I think I'm gonna do like a new crock pot recipe every Monday. Um, maybe, we'll see. Anyway, this is done. I have some rice finishing up there and I wanted to do like a little declutter and it looks like I'm just now starting in the evening. The boys are crazy, having a good time. Say hi. Excavator. All right. So he is already done his homework. He did his half hour reading. Um, he just has to put away what he has to put away like his stuff here. His like room always kind of looks messy. I'm gonna take care of that tomorrow or sometime this week. And then Zay Zay, you okay? You okay? Good. <laughs> And Xavier has been just snacking since he's been home and we're just trying to keep him like content. <laughs> so, all right, so this lighting is really intense. So really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my dresser and take everything out, refold everything. I am going to start a donation bag, a trash bag, and just kind of organize it as best as I can. You can hear my kids in the background, hold on. Uh, my objective is to be able to see everything I have because I have like a lot of clothes that I'm just not wearing and they're all like relatively new so it's not like I don't want to wear them I just don't see them so I don't know I have them so I'm just trying to get this section organized I'm gonna go ahead and get this started now or else I'll never do it it's 22 22 yeah yeah totally And guys, I was so excited to do this video and I was so motivated that I completely skipped over my intro and didn't realize it until like after. Um, but hello, if you are new here, my name is Destiny. And if you've been with me for a while, then you're probably not surprised by this. I was so motivated to just do a good like declutter and I felt like I just wanted to pull my camera out and just record a nice like evening declutter just relaxing um, video and I really just wanted to enjoy my evening with my kids and just show you guys what that kind of looks like so if you're looking for a sign to do a little something more this evening this is it for you go ahead and start decluttering that hallway closet declutter that dress or whatever it is that you feel like you just kind of want to organize The amount of like BS that I have in this drawer is like mind boggling. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Alright, so I've officially made a complete mess here. I've emptied out the drawers here. I'm not even going to get talking about what's going on there. So I'm going to reorganize these and then move my way to the rest. Like, I just really opened up a can of worms here. So that is all the trash that I collected just from those two drawers. I'm about to go through the next four drawers, which are just t-shirts and, like, pants and stuff. And I'm going to... I just like recorded myself doing this like I like the hand from Wednesday where it's just like anyway whatever um what was I saying oh I that was all the trash I got from just those two drawers so that was crazy so I'm about to go through the next four drawers which are just like t-shirts and like leggings 
and then like, I don't even know what the other drawer is to be honest with you off the top of my head but I'm gonna take all the shirts out and just like refold them and put them kind of like in rows of like dressier shirts and like I have a lot of graphic tees so like graphic tees or like maybe one whole drawer of graphic tees and then one whole drawer of like like dressier shirts or casual wear so something like that I'm gonna go ahead and do that now though moving through the night like we're from a different star flying over streets and the broken hearts but they can even touch us without a different beat paradise is waiting and we bought the lead oh getting caught in the mist there's so many that never get out of they're feeding the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame we own the game and we ride on the flame <sighs> all righty this is a lot of stuff i'm aware and if you're looking at this a little overwhelmed i don't blame you I feel a little overwhelmed however when this whole thing is done I already know I'm gonna feel like so much better so I just kind of keep thinking of the end game and just remember that that's gonna be worth what I just started at five o'clock in the evening on Monday I also have like another drawer of like bottoms in here I feel like I should do that one put that at the bottom right and then fill in the rest with shirt or maybe let me just go through the shirts let's see what we're keeping and we're not keeping because some of these are just it might have bleach on it or something like that and then some of them i kind of forgot that i had like this is one of my favorite graphic tees where where it's been i don't know i might actually wear that tomorrow hmm. my like folding game is like all types of off too life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know You know, we talk about how, in motherhood in particular, we always say, like, it takes a village. But I think, as an adult, it really does take a village. And when you are trying to live like a healthy you know positive life to maintain that mentality through the highs and lows of life it can be kind of hard and i think it's super important to have your people in your corner i am so incredibly lucky to have my friends and family that are in my corner to kind of help me and motivate me and the time that i spend talking to you know my best friends and coming up with creative ideas and stuff is like you know we try to find time for each other the best way we can and life gets so busy but we always make time to kind of connect whenever we can as often as we can and i'm so incredibly thankful for those connections and if you are looking you know for somebody to kind of depend on and lean in on if you're feeling alone definitely look around you and see like who has the best intentions for you not everyone is pure for the, your intentions in your future and sometimes like their their own problems can become and taint your dreams and your path so just you know really keep the people that are in your corner in your corner you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down And don't forget guys this is a declutter with me and i mean that physically and emotionally if you're going through something right now and you just really want to get off your chest leave that down in your comments you know i am such a good listener and again i am building this community so that people can find a place where they can relate and feel comfortable and safe and not every day is easy and we're definitely not going to be out here trying to pretend that this stuff is perfect but we are definitely going to be here to support and listen and help one another through our good and our bad times. So most people like put away their shorts and stuff 
I don't put my shorts away because sometimes I, what's going on here? Oh, I had this in my hair the whole time, guys. That's annoying. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> So I go to Florida like randomly usually throughout the year, at least I try to. So my shorts I usually don't put up just because I hate going in the attic to switch out like that seasonal stuff. So I usually keep my shorts because I don't have a lot of them and my biker shorts together in my drawers um, all year round just because I never know. Like if I can get a cheap ticket to Florida, I'm on the plane. So and I'm like some things just have to go like that. Face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I have been tempted to do this topic for a little while now. You guys leave me down in the comments and let me know what you guys think. I have been asked several times recently like how do I maintain the relationship that I have with my husband? And I have found over the course of the last few years, uh, so many people just in general and the, the highs and lows of relationships. And I feel like I have so much advice to give to people that are either struggling in a relationship or are about to become parents, um, just kind of anything to do with like a partnership and how to kind of balance a partnership over the course of time. My husband and I have been together uh, now 11 years. We have been married. It will be three years this summer and not that I have the answers to it all, but I do think that I try really hard to listen to those around me and their battles that they are going through and I always try to just learn from my mistakes and for other people's major lessons and um, wins and losses as well and I don't know I just feel like there's something out there in this topic with me and I do have a lot of people that come to me and talk to me about things so I think it might be something I'm interested in I don't know you guys let me know in the comments like what kind of topics or just like questions or advice are you looking for when it comes to a relationship um, while also being a parent or just in a relationship without having any kids at all go ahead and drop that below and I'll see what we're gonna do there <laughs> Like a flash in the universe You are illuminating I don't really care about the people in the bar line I don't really mind All the who goes who and stage dives I don't care at all, baby You got my attention So you were saying So as you guys already heard me say, somewhere in the midst of all this, I did lose the tail end of all the footage from this evening, um, but just fine. As you can see, I'm putting everything away and I ended up, everything that's on top of the dresser, I literally threw out in the trash unless it was something that my kids gave me like as a gift or like a teacher's note for them. I do store those in these little like um, accordions for them, which is why I didn't understand why they were in my dresser. But whatever, I got them out and put them back where they needed to be. Um, but yeah, so that is all I have for you guys this evening. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I love you all dearly. You mean so much to me. Don't forget to get this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Give it a comment. We talked about a few different things and I want to hear your insight. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you in my loves next time. But if I mean to show